In this lesson, we'll take a look at how to graph quadratics using x-intercepts. And this is similar to a lesson from a couple of units ago. The difference here is that the quadratic isn't in the factored form. In that unit, uh, we would already would have the x squared minus 2x minus 15 factored. So the only difference here is we have to factor this, and then everything is the same as what we did in that previous unit. So it says in the instructions to example was one use factoring to write each quadratic relation in the intercept or factored form and then graph the relation. So we need to factor x squared minus 2x minus 15. So we need to find two integers that add to negative 2 and that multiply to negative 15. And those integers would be 3 and negative 5. 3 and negative 5 add to negative 2 and multiply to negative 15. And so to find the intercepts, intercepts occur the x-intercepts occur on the x-axis and any point on the x-axis has a y value of 0. And so if the y value is 0 here, the only way y can be 0, if these two things multiply to give you 0, is if either x plus 3 is a value of 0, in which case x would be negative 3, because negative 3 is the number that makes that factor have a value of 0, or if x minus 5 has a value of 0, then the only number that makes that factor 0 is the value of 5, because 5 take away 5 gives you 0. And so those are the two intercepts. So we'll plot them at uh, negative 3 and 5. Now in order to graph this, we need to find now the vertex. And in order to find the vertex, the first thing we'll do is identify where the axis of symmetry is. There's a distance of 8 between negative 3 and 5. And so if 8 is the distance between them, right in the middle, 4 to the left of this one or 4 to the right of this one at positive 1, that's where the axis of symmetry would be. And if the numbers aren't easy to work with like that, you just average negative 3 and 5 and you'll get 1. And so that's where the axis of symmetry is, at 1. Now the 1 also is the x-coordinate of the vertex. And so we can take that 1 and substitute it in place of x in the original equation because if that the vertex is on the axis of symmetry here then the uh, the x coordinate of the vertex has to have the same x coordinate as that line and so we put one in place of x in our equation and we could have used the second version it wouldn't matter so I put one here so one squared minus two times one and then minus the 15 now one squared is one and one take away two is negative one subtract 15 would be negative 16. And so that means that the vertex has an x coordinate of 1 and a y coordinate of negative 16. And so it's the point 1 comma negative 16. And so we plot that point down here. So that's the vertex. These are the intercepts and so the parabola would have to look like this. In the second example notice it starts with a negative x squared. If there's any negative here in order to put this in the vertex or, uh, or sorry intercept or factored form you must factor that negative or negative one actually out of the entire parabola this equation so we factor a negative out which is really just a negative one and so this becomes x squared this becomes negative 8x and then plus 16 all the signs change because factoring a negative one out you're really dividing everything by negative one and so now in order to factor x squared minus 8x plus 16, we look for two numbers that add to negative 8 and multiply to positive 16. And the two numbers are the same. They're both negative 4. Negative 4 and negative 4 add to negative 8 and multiply to 16. And since they're the same, the two factors are both x minus 4, and so we can factor this into negative x minus 4 squared. Now the, factor, the fact that both are the same means there's only one x-intercept. The parabola in, in B does not cut through the x-axis in two places like the first one did. It simply touches the x-axis. And so if we set x minus 4 to 0, we get an x-intercept of 4. Now, since the parabola just touches the x-axis at 4, that means that the y-value should be 0 there, which means that the vertex of this parabola is actually the point four zero, because again the parabola only touches the x-axis in one spot at 4 and so that must be where the vertex is. Now remember the negative means that the parabola opens downward. So we can plot our vertex here at four zero, 
and so the negative means it opens downwards. So that's the vertex. And so it's going to open down like this. Now we need to plot a point, at least one, on either side here, so that we can more accurately draw this parabola. And so I'm going to I could I could for example substitute three or two or or one in our parabola's equation to find a point. I'm going to use zero actually and identify where the uh, y-intercept is. So I'm going to put zero in place of x here and here. And of course if you do that, all this works out to be zero. And so the y-value works out then to be just negative 16. So that's the y-intercept. So we can plot that point here. And I could plot a point over here as well, but it's off the screen so I won't bother to try to do that. That's the vertex. That's a point on the graph. And so the graph must look like this. So there's our parabola for B.